colleague of mine asked if uh, it was possible to create this sort of effect where you showed one side of a card and then flipped it around to show the back side of the card. And I thought about that for a little bit, came up with a solution, and I thought I'd share it with all of you guys as well. So I've come up with a, an example being sort of like a baseball card. Here is Bo Obama. Now, I know it's a long time since the Obamas have been in the White House, but their pet dog is named Bo, and Bo was the first dog of the United States of America. So I thought I'd use that as an example. So I came up with the idea of using two images, one that represents the front side of the card and uh, the back being uh, represented by the second image. And I've got them on the timeline. Uh, as you can see here, the first uh, part of this effect is the front of the card, and I have it disappear at the exact moment that the back side of the card appears. Now this would work by itself if I overlaid them on top of one another, the back would uh, appear only once the front disappeared. But I thought we could take it a step further and maybe apply some neat effects that would simulate the turning of the card as well. So, you know, I, I looked around through the different effects and what I finally decided upon was asymmetric zoom, both for the outgoing uh, side of the card and the incoming side of the card. So let me show you what I do. So first of all, we have the uh, picture of Bo here on the left. And what we're going to do is go into the entrance effects and select asymmetric zoom. But we're going to need to change some of the parameters of this. And we want to start off with the initial X zoom being 100%. We're going to change the initial Y zoom to 100%. So in other words, we're starting with the card as we see it here. And the final zoom for the X coordinate is going to be zero. In other words, we want it to collapse in on itself. And then of course, we'll just keep the Y coordinate zoom 100%. Now I would recommend that two seconds is gonna probably seem kind of slow. So let's drop that down to just a fraction of a second here. I'm gonna do uh, 0.3 seconds. Now you'll notice on the timeline that this effect occurs at the beginning of the timeline where we've got the picture of Bo the dog. So I'm just gonna drag this right to the end here because I want it to occur just before Bo the dog disappears. Now let's work with the second part of this effect, the second image. And we're going to also do an entrance effect using asymmetric zoom. But again, we're once again, we're gonna change those parameters. So our initial Y zoom is zero, in other words, uh, essentially collapsed in, on, it's starting from a collapsed in state, and the initial Y zoom will still be 100, and the final X and Y will both be 100, because we want it to appear as it appears right now on the stage. And again, like before, we're gonna just change the duration of the effect to match the outgoing image at, at the beginning there. Now, we can test this out just by playing it on the timeline. And as you can see now, all we need to do is lay these over top of one another. And we'll just center that on the page here so it looks nice. And let's just preview that on the timeline here. Start off with Bo the dog, flip it around, and there's his vital statistics. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.